I like to have it off, right? <laughs> As sort of, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's cheer the idea of sex. Sex, the love of it, the dogged, unashamed pursuit of it, Russell Brand's thing. I'm really crap at this, aren't I? You're lovely, you're fine. Just go with it. Don't try and fight it. <laughs> I have to say that every day. <laughs> the core of his act, an act which made him one of Britain's best-known comedians and actors. What I do is I make absolutely sure that it is a woman, <laughs> then go for it. It saw him become the host of Channel 4's Big Brother spin-off. Welcome to Big Brother's E Forum. One of the stars of BBC Radio. It even took him to Hollywood. Now tonight, off stage, it sees him accused of rape, sexual assault, controlling and abusive behaviour. Uncovered in a major investigation by Channel 4 dispatches, The Times and The Sunday Times. He's grabbing at my, my underwear, pulling it to the side. I'm telling him to get off me and he won't get off. Like holding me up against the wall, pushing himself in me. It's based on the testimony of five women who agreed to share their stories. Actors have been used in some cases, and in others, voices have been changed. The allegations are from the early noughties until 2013. Brand's risque stand-up routine, a huge success on the comedy circuit, he then got his big break on television, joining Channel 4's Big Brother spin-off show. Why, hello! The programme was a huge moneymaker for production company Endemol and critical to the channel's existence. Series 5 generating £45 million in advertising revenue alone. Brand became the star of the spin-off debate show, Big Brother's E! Forum. Within weeks of starting the job, Brand was focusing his attention on a new young runner. It was only one of my first jobs. I was a runner. There was a, a real sense for me of being the baby and wanting to make an impression on everybody. I think I must have gone to see what he wanted for lunch and he saw that it was me and he turned around towards me. I wasn't incredibly close to him, but I saw that he had his penis out of his shorts or trousers and it was in his hands. I wasn't going to tell anyone what he'd done because I didn't want to lose my job. They later began a consensual sexual relationship. With hindsight and now as an older woman, I can say with clarity that, you know, I felt like I was groomed um, for sex. Anarchy in the Big Brother house. But it's not just testimony from the women themselves. Other junior Endemol crew members who worked with Brand on other shows agreed to tell their stories too. Russell was pointing out women that he found attractive in the audience and then getting the runners to get their details so that they could meet up after the show. It felt like we were essentially taking lambs into slaughter. Junior crew members on Big Brother's E! Forum say they made complaints about his behaviour. I don't know whether that complaint went any higher than our production management team. It was definitely met with, OK, well, that's not OK. I don't know if anybody spoke to Russell. The behaviour didn't stop. Alice was just 16 in 2006 when she first met Russell Brand. He saw me and he'd asked what my business was there. I'd just been to Topshop. He took the shopping bags from my hands and picked a dress out and he said, OK, you're going to wear that on a date with me. For Alice, Russell Brand, a self-proclaimed sex addict, was the first man she had had sex with. When everything was over, one of his friends came round to the house. They both drove me to the tube station. He reached his hand behind the car seat and was holding my hand behind the seat like my mum does when she's in the car. And it made me feel like, yeah, a little, I felt very small. I felt like a little kid. Alice describes being sexually assaulted. I was pushing him away, pushing him away, and he wasn't, he wasn't backing off at all. And so I ended up having to punch him really hard in the stomach to get him off. And then he, like, finally, then he, like, 
move fell backwards and I was crying and he said, oh, I only want to see your mascara run anyway. From Channel 4, Brand moved to the BBC, bringing his controversial, no-holds-barred broadcasting style to Radio 2. In 2008, Brand was forced to quit over an inappropriate prank call, but he was ready to take advantage of new opportunities in Hollywood. Nadia met Brand at a party and subsequently had consensual sex with him. On another occasion, she alleges, he raped her. I was out late and he happened to call me and say, I've had a really bad day, please come over. And I, at first I said, no, I'm not going, it's late. And he's like, please come, just come and cuddle with me. So then I gave in and I'm like, okay. He pushed me up against the wall. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I have a friend here and I, I want you to come into the bedroom. I'm like, no, that's not happening. We're not doing that. And I tried to get away from him. And at this point, he's grabbing at my, my underwear, pulling it to the side. I'm telling him to get off me and he won't get off. And he has that glazed look in his eye again. I was very distraught, trying to get out of the house with him being so much taller than me, like holding me up against the wall, pushing himself in me. I couldn't move. That same day, Nadia went to a local rape treatment centre to report what had happened. She underwent tests, was given antibiotics and emergency contraception. But she says she couldn't face going to the police. When I went in for one of my first therapy sessions, I literally couldn't say the word rape. I had to keep saying sexually assaulted, but by the end of it, I was like, oh my God, he raped me. I worship divine sexual female energy. Yes, thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm saying that not only because it's true, but also because it's nearly the end of the show now. And I know if I say stuff like that about women and divine sexual energy at the end of the evening, there's no way I ain't getting laid after the show tonight. <laughs> Dispatches put a freedom of information request to Channel 4, asking how many complaints it had received about Russell Brand. But Channel 4 refused to release the information, saying they were under no legal obligation to do so. The programme asked the BBC if complaints had been received. They too declined to answer citing data protection laws. Last night, Russell Brand released this statement on social media. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that then, almost too transparent. And I'm being transparent about it now as well. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question is there another agenda at play? What I seriously refute are these very, very serious criminal allegations. Also, it's worth mentioning that there are witnesses whose evidence directly contradicts the narratives that these two mainstream media outlets are trying to construct, apparently in what seems to me to be a coordinated attack. In a statement, Channel 4 said they were appalled to learn of these deeply troubling allegations. They said they have found no evidence to suggest the alleged incidents were brought to the attention of Channel 4, adding, today, Channel 4 has a zero-tolerance approach to unacceptable behaviour. They said they would be asking the production company to investigate these allegations and report their findings. Banerjee, which acquired Endemol, acknowledged that its safeguarding policies at the time were not as robust as our current processes. They said they are sorry these women did not feel supported and protected while working on these productions. I've been waiting since I was 16 for it to hit the papers or for it to be on the news that he's been arrested or that somebody's reported him and it's stopped the abuse. Yes.